Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I've got a really cool Amazon package. I think these are some cool 3D puzzles. So let us open them. Olivander's one shot, and then this one is Gringotts Bank. So I'm going to be making both of these in this video. We'll see how detailed they actually are. I think they're foam. Uh, so they've got like 66 pieces and 74 pieces. So 74 Gringotts and 66 Olivander's. It's really cool for, them, for age like 8 and up and stuff like that. Apparently it will only take us an hour. Oh, I highly doubt that this is going to take me even less than that. It'll take me even like maybe half an hour, depending on how smart I am. <laughs> <coughs> but what I want to do with these is I'm going to put them in the back with me. So I've got up here, I have the Elder Wand. There's some kind of stickers for different characters and such, and different styles. And then down here, I've got this big empty, empty space. So I want to put something in here, and yeah, I'm gonna make like I can make like a little diagonally over here if I want to do something. Like, but they actually go in the dark, which is pretty sick. But yeah, let's get to opening these up. So I've just taken Ollivander's, Ollivander's one shop out of the box and what it looks like is you get like a little booklet to tell you where to put what and all that jazz and oh it's a big thing, <laughs> quite big but yeah yeah so you get that to basically tell you what to do and yeah these are just the individual parts that you get take out these are like tops of tables or something. Oh no, these are cupboards. These are all different types of ones. They are actually quite detailed, but they're like a foam, which makes sense. Durable around children. <laughs> Recyclable, thank you. Ah, so you put all the little bits into there. This is like the downstairs, I bet, with the walls. You've got a Hagrid, RIP, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Indeed. And any other characters on here at the minute? Nah, there'll probably be more when we uh, open it up. But blimey, this actually looks uh, a smidgen complicated, but we'll do this. So, before I get too carried away, uh, <laughs> I've done, I've managed to do this. And this is actually really, really cool. I really, really like this. I've used, been using my knife to get rid of all of these tiny bits which are the little slits to put things in but this is actually yeah extremely detailed right you've actually got Harry and Ollivander and that's their front and they've actually put they've got backs that's not just empty or plain that's so sick oh yeah so <laughs> from the looks of it I have done this part of A, next is to do B, which I think is going to be part of like an upstairs floor to then be able to put all the sides and all this stuff. This is really complicated, I will give you that, but it is, it feels like really sturdy. It's not like flimsy plastic, it's actually really tough from the looks of it. So good for eight year olds, definitely not my nieces who are like three and going on four. So. <laughs> They would destroy this so easily. But this, amazing so far. 
set as I've shown you how far I've got already, which is pretty cool. But so now I'm going to quickly sort out all the bits for B, and which I think is, as I said before, the upper layer of um, the shop. So let me get those out and we shall continue putting them together. As in, so as I'm taking these out, it clearly states on the instructions the number of which you need to put in, which would be really cool. So like for example, I'm taking out these two here, which are number 17. So you just kind of, it's not too hard to get them out either, you're just kind of apply a bit of pressure, you should do, because I said plastic earlier, I meant foam. <laughs> it's like foam curtains. And just kind of, whoop. A pair of curtains. <laughs> Wait, I just need to poke the other one out and then we'll have a pair of curtains. Oh, nice. These two have a bit of a jiggle. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're clearly marked on here as to what numbers you need and stuff like that. So, <laughs> let's continue. Hey, so I've got all the little bits out. So these are all the little bits. I have to take out each individual little freaking thing. God damn. But these are the bits that I need to add to this puppy here. So that is exactly what I'm going to do now. <laughs> On top of this one, I believe, is number five, which is this. Number five. And let's see if we can see where it is. Oh, it's like a little spyglass, books, and a telescope. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the little details, whoop. It's the details that matter. Nice. So that's like that part. <laughs> and we've got like a ladder. A ladder, ladder, ladder. Oh, did I miss a hole again? I missed a hole again. Or did I? Yes, I did. I did. I did, I did, I did miss a hole. I'm all for taking the damn thing out. So yeah, it's just these little plastic uh, foamy things there. So you poke it out. Be careful taking it off because it can rip this stuff. Which is a pain, I will give you that. <laughs> pain in the butt. Pain. <laughs> and then, yeah, this ladder. Which I had to take out each of the little freaking things out as well. This ladder like just kind of. Boop. 
looking to place to be like a ladder to go up to another floor. I don't know if there's another floor. But that is looking pretty good already. So that's all of this bit done. So that's like the upstairs of Ollivander's. Very cool. Now I'm going to sort out the next lot to be able to build the actual bloody walls and stuff. So that's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. I have done all of this. Especially if you want the effect, it's uh, obviously you have to take a moment. So I'm going to get those and I will be right back. Alright, so now I am ready to put these little tiny little things, little different ones, and stuff like that, onto, <laughs> don't drop it, <laughs> onto this piece of uh, thing. <laughs> Very descriptive indeed. So, so far. But let's continue on to... So we are now on... Oh Jesus, this thing's long. Yeah. Okay. We are now on E. Of course. So I'm going to sort that out and you guys sit tight. It will be a second in your time. <laughs> so, from the looks of it, we're putting all of these bits together so they make sense. So let's let's do that. So
go on and stay on. Yes. Huzzah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, my days. Ugh. I felt like it took forever. But apparently I need to put... Where is it? Is it in this one? Another little chandelier -y thing. Um, it finally let go of the tiny little chandelier thing, but it wants me to put. Okay. <coughs> no, it wants me to put on the top here, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure stuff out. Probably before I need to. So, there's that bit done. I don't think it's completed just yet, obviously, but. <laughs> Alright, so, next, I need to actually make the top bits, and, uh, yeah, I will be right back. So, I figured it out. <laughs> it, it, it took me a second, but I figured it out. I'm going to move you back a bit, so you can actually get maybe a bit more of a view. So, I'm onto the roof now. Uh, it's this this bit here. So what you have to do is there we go. I've got the hang of it there. So you can properly pull that over. The back so that they go in there. Yes, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, and then you I think, have to push these through these little, like that. pretty sick. So I've got the top. Apparently, we are apparently ready for the bottom. I'm not sure. So, yeah, yeah, So this, this has got to be the front. Oh my days, that's going to be long way than I realised. Ah, there we go. So I have to find the holes. Push them into their respective place. So that, I think, is kind of pretty much it. But wow, the detail is like absolutely amazing. I will give it that. There's still so many other pieces that I can do. Ah, I think you, ah, it's for things on the front. <coughs> So, I built the building and put everything together, and now I've got things that I can put on the front, such as the Ollivander uh, sign and stuff like that. So, I'm going to put those on that and show you the finished product. So, here it is, completed with everything inside and out. I do like the little touches of like the signs. This side, and this side, you will have a little um, crates on this side for delivery. And then on the inside, if I can get good lighting in it, that looks amazing. Like, talk about miniature worlds. <laughs> that is just like, wow, the detail is like absolutely amazing. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop but saying wow. This absolutely amazing. Freaking, oh, lamppost, Hagrid with his lug luggage sign. Oh, I can't wait to do Gringotts Bank next. But that will be for next video because this took a bit longer than expected because obviously I did things in between. But thank you for watching. If you liked, uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But... Hopefully, I will see you in the Gring Gringot build. 
Ha ha. Peace.